Since Iron Man 3, many MCU fans have wondered what Harley actor Ty Simpkins has been up to since he lent a hand to Tony Stark. Luckily for them, we've got answers. Just two years after the release of Iron Man 3, Ty Simpkins found himself co-starring in another huge Hollywood blockbuster, Jurassic World. A 2015 revival of the film series that began in 1993 with Jurassic Park, Jurassic World follows the employees of an enormous dinosaur-themed amusement park that fills an entire island. The park is packed to the brim with cloned dinosaurs and excited tourists, and everything is overseen by a no-nonsense type named Claire, played by Bryce Dallas Howard. Simpkins and Nick Robinson play brothers Gray and Zach Mitchell, Claire's visiting nephews. This does not feel safe. Can we stay with you? I am never leaving you as long as you live. No, 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 him! The audience gets to experience the park through their eyes most of all, and when everything starts falling apart thanks to the chaos incited by the escape of the park's newest attraction, it's their fear with which the audience most identifies. Gray and Zack spend most of the movie terrified and attempting to reach safety, and Simpkins even told Collider that they had him scream as a part of his audition. Closely following his role in Jurassic World, Ty Simpkins made a cameo in Shane Black's retro detective film, The Nice Guys, in 2016. Black knew Simpkins from directing him in Iron Man 3, and the young actor must have made a good impression to be featured in the opening scene of one of Black's most critically lauded films. Speaking with Collider in 2015, Simpkins revealed that Black actually offered him the role at a party. Simpkins said, He's talking about this movie that he's doing, and he's like, Yeah, it's called The Nice Guys. It's about these two guys who have to solve a murder mystery about a porn star. And then he was like, There's actually a part in the beginning for someone like you, Ty. A few months later, Simpkins was in Atlanta shooting the scene. Simpkins played an unnamed, rambunctious kid who sneaks into his parents' room late at night while they're asleep and steals an X-rated magazine from under the bed. The character immediately opens the magazine to its centerfold and finds a photo of an adult actor named Misty Mountains. Suddenly, a blue convertible crashes through the kid's house and lands in a nearby ditch. Upon investigation, Simpkins' character finds that the car's passenger is none other than Misty Mountains herself who delivers an essential clue to solving her murder right before succumbing to her injuries. Even though many industry outlets reported on Ty Simpkins' alleged casting in Avengers Endgame well before the movie had an official title, many viewers were still surprised to see him reprise his role as Harley Keener during Tony Stark's funeral at the end of the movie. When asked by HuffPost about people's perplexed and occasionally confused reactions to his appearance in the film, Simpkins said, I definitely thought that a couple people would get it. I wasn't really sure people would remember me or not, but I was kind of more focused on the fact that I was in the movie. Simpkins was mostly just excited to be on set with the long list of talented actors who were also present the day they filmed Tony's funeral. In the same interview with HuffPost, he said that he and Robert Downey Jr. still text and check in with each other from time to time. As of now, there are no official plans to bring Harley back again in the MCU. Everything's gonna be okay. Cause I'm your big brother, and I'm never gonna let anything bad happen to you. In 2020, Ty Simpkins stepped back in front of the camera to co-star in an indie horror movie called Where's Rose? The actor, who also served as a producer on the film, plays Eric Daniels, whose younger sister Rose goes missing in the woods one day, much to the horror of her family. All seems lost until she turns up again the next day. Eric is the only person who seems to realize that the Rose who comes back isn't the same one who went missing, and the evil forces inhabiting her make themselves known throughout the course of the film. Whereas Rose was actually filmed near the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, but thanks to a good team and a crowdfunding campaign, it debuted at the Raindance Film Festival in November 2021 and is currently available to stream on Amazon Prime, among other digital platforms. When The Whale came out in 2022, most of the attention was focused on Brendan Fraser's triumphant performance. While the film's directing and writing went largely unrecognized during award season, Fraser won the Academy Award for Best Actor. He wouldn't have been able to do it in a vacuum, though. And it's largely thanks to the film's supporting players like Sadie Sank, Hong Chow, and Ty Simpkins that he was able to do his best work. Simpkins co-stars in the film as Thomas, the Christian missionary who continually dogs Fraser's Charlie, hoping that he can convince him to embrace the will of God. The Whale, Mark Simpkins returned to significant parts in big-time Hollywood pictures. Director Darren Aronofsky told Vanity Fair about the process for casting Simpkins as Thomas in 2023. He explained, 
Right before we were about to start to rehearse, Mary Vernu, our casting director, was like, oh, there's this one guy, Ty Simpkins. He was a child actor, but he hadn't acted in a while. He was kind of taking a break from it for a while, but he got on tape, and the next day he got on a plane and joined us in New York, where we shot the film, and he was great. In 2011, Ty Simpkins had appeared in Insidious, and Insidious Chapter 2, two years later. After 10 years away from the franchise, he returned to it in 2023, this time as a co-lead. He originally played the role of Dalton Lambert when the character was just a young boy who got caught up fighting evil forces and demons alongside his equally terrified parents. In 2023's Insidious The Red Door, Dalton's parents, played by Rose Byrne and Patrick Wilson, are now divorced and he's just starting his first year of college. Looper interviewed Simpkins alongside one of his co-stars, Sinclair Daniel, who plays Dalton's college roommate. When asked about his own experience growing up and how it parallels Dalton's, Simpkins explained, When I first got the script for this, I was a freshman in college at the time. A lot of what I was going through, minus the demonic stuff, Dalton was going through it in this movie. It makes sense that Simpkins' first real starring role as an adult would be in the Insidious franchise, as that's really what put him on the Hollywood map when he was a child actor.